Devastating storms pounded three central U.S. states March 14 night, spawning massive tornadoes including one that hit a trailer park in Indiana and killed three people, Logan County, Ohio, Sheriff Randall Dodd said that there were two deaths at the Geiger Mobile Home Park in Lakeview, north of Dayton, after a reported tornado hit the area. Police said a possible tornado also ripped through the rural Indiana community of Winchester, leaving homes damaged and some buildings flattened, while many were left with significant injuries. More than 13 million people in the central United States were under tornado watches, the National Weather Service said. A very dangerous half mile wide tornado touched down in Ohio State, National Weather Service said. One struck the rural town of Indian Lakes in western Ohio. It's pure devastation. I have never seen anything like this in my entire life, Amber Fagan, president of the Indian Lakes Chamber of Commerce, told a Columbus ABC television station. Downtown, it's bad. It's very bad. Three people died in a mobile home park in Winchester, Indiana, when a suspected tornado struck, the ABC and NBC television networks reported, citing state police storms hopscotched across the Ohio Valley, spawning apparent tornadoes in a number of areas, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir said on social media that a tornado moved through Gallatin and Trimble in his state but left no fatalities, tornadoes, a weather phenomenon that is as impressive as it is difficult to predict, are relatively common. In the United States, especially in the central and southern parts of the country. Beautiful. Go east, go east, go east. Massive tornado warrant supercell here. Hail of strong wind. Tornado forming right there on the Ohio River. In the morning of March 14th, the Gravoroy district of the Belgorod region of Russia opened fire from the territory of Ukraine. The Russian press reported on this. It is said that one of the shells fell into the forensic examination building. The population was warned to go to shelters. The governor of Belgorod region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, said that one person was injured as a result of the shooting. He also said that three cars were damaged and several houses were damaged. A warning was issued about the missile safety in the Belgorod area. The IT should be noted that on March 13, the Free Russian Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps, and the Siberian Battalion, which are part of the Ukrainian army, warned that they would again enter the territory of Belgorod in course can conduct an operation. They demanded the provincial administration to evacuate the local population. Oh, ладно, побежал, я людям помогал. Блин, что творится? Приехал, глянь, у у Мантулева он яма, блядь. Машины стекла повылетали.
и в детской везде все окна подбила. Окна вылетели.